All right, so uh, we did problem 17.2. Uh, now we're going to move on to problem 17.7. Uh, this problem says, fit the following data with A, a saturation growth rate model, B, a power query equation, and C, a parabola. In each case, plot the data and the equation. Okay, and, and, and so there's the data, and then as a bonus, I'm going to go ahead and do a linear fit first to get us started. But, um, but uh, to get going on, on this problem, uh, we're going we're gonna to use, again, uh, MATLAB. And I'm showing a little bit more of it here. I I'm, don't mean to hide the other stuff. It's just that it's a little bit easier to see uh, the the words if I make them bigger. So uh, here we have all these all these options. But the first thing we need to do is uh, go ahead and and put this data into MATLAB. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to copy this and say uh, x equals paste it. Um, whoops. So I've actually got to put uh, square brackets around that. All right, so there's our x, and y equals, whoops, and let's put our square brackets around that, and let's select the y data. All right, uh, so now we've got our y data, uh, and then and then we're supposed to start fitting this. We'll um, there's a lot of ways we could do this. Um, we could even do it by hand if we wanted to, but I'm going to show you the curve fitting toolbox uh, or the curve fitting tool in, in MATLAB. So we just click that little button there and it brings up the curve fitting tool and it says, well, uh, we need the data to fit. Well, let me make this a little as big as we can. Okay, so we need the data to fit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our x data and it's just called x. And our y data is just called y. It's just the data I just put in. And so it's just going to start by fitting uh, a linear a linear function to this data. It'll just start by doing that right away. Uh, uh, the next thing that we can do is, is say, well, okay, uh, we wanted to fit a saturation growth rate. And so we can see there's, there's lots of different options here. Um, but uh, I don't actually see saturation growth rate. Well, it turns out actually the closest to saturation growth rate is this rational one. And it, it gives over here on the left, it, it gives the, the model that it's using. But um, rather, than, rather than even going with that one, we're just going to go ahead and go straight to uh, a custom equation. And it's going to say A is E to the BX plus C. Well, our saturation growth rate equation is A... Um, times x over b plus x. All right, and that should do it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And we've got then our, our y as a function of x. Okay, perfect. And that is our saturation growth rate equation. And we have the, um, what does it ask us for in the problem? It asks us for uh, well, just plot the data and the equation. Okay, so the data is already plotted, and there's the equation, <laughs> and that's that's really all there is to it. Uh, the next one we're going to do is the power equation, uh, and and we we could actually just type them type it in here. Now that I've shown you how to do that, but we can also just pick power equation, and you can verify that the equation looks right. Um, a x plus or or a uh, times x to the b. Uh, which is exactly what it says on page 467 in the book for the power equation. And if you look here, we see the, uh, the fit. Um, and we, we can name this just so you know, power fit, for example. Um, and then it's probably going to update our label here. So you, and you can print off these plots and everything. It gives us, it gives us all of our fit statistics. Um, the, the sum of the squared error, R squared, uh, the degrees of freedom, the adjusted R squared, uh, root mean square error, um, the number of coefficients that we're estimating. So we have all those all those uh, statistics right down here. Uh, okay, so that's it. That's all there is to it for the power equation. Let's let's go ahead and fit a parabola. Uh, you can see. I mean, we could also do uh, we could also do an exponential, um, and that'd be all there is to it. We can use two two terms for an exponential, or just one exponential term, which is you know. And of course, that doesn't fit fit very good, which is probably why they didn't ask us to do it. Uh, but let's just go ahead and go back to polynomial, and we just go degree, well, degree 2, I believe, is what we wanted to do, a parabola. So we did a degree 2 polynomial, and um, 
Yeah, so we'll just say that's our polynomial fit. Um, and then our y versus x. And we have our r squared is 0.97 or 9373. Uh, you know, we've got uh, we've got all the things. The coefficients, we're actually fitting three coefficients instead of two this time. So uh, in a way, that's worse because uh, we're fitting, we're ha having to estimate more parameters. Um, Boy, I, I think that's I think that's about it uh, for this equation. I mean, um, this is just all there is to it. Um, well, I'll just point out it. If you guys play with this fit toolbox, um, you can do two uh, D interpolation or three, three. You can do all kinds of different interpolations. So, uh, go ahead and play with these tools now. Uh, the other thing is uh, that I'll that I'll also point out here is that this this fitting tool is is really nice and it sort of does everything for you. But uh, you can also program this all manually in MATLAB and it it turns out to be very easy. So.